Ooh, I don't think so. Yeah, we're we're not dealing with this uh with this session. No 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 Not with someone going off that badly. Hello again everyone, it is your black knight. A quick a quick session here, a quick CEO in pajamas trying to grind a little money session here. This week so far, I've gotten the cars I want, but the RC Bandito is on sale for 400k off its normal price of 1.5 million. And then, you know, considering I could really use one for both characters, that would be 800,000 in savings if I could pull it off. But we're, as you can see, we only have 755,000 after getting all the cars that I wanted on sale, which is detailed in another video. Alright, this looks good. I don't think Electric Dean or Adjusted Jester are going to cause me too much problems today. I think they're, they look like they're here. They're happy to be in a nice quiet session. They're cool dudes. How you doing? I'm doing great. And I say dudes, I, I say it in the Northeast Pennsylvania way. Same way we say, you know, guys. We say, hey guys, that, that's a, a gender neutral thing. And it, it really was only, you know, it'll be about 10 years ago, I realized that not everybody thinks of it that way. Back in the day, my employer had us, uh, Oh, we're lucky here. Okay, expect law enforcement to get in the way on this sale, but hopefully the phantom wedge we're lending you will get them out of it. Stick to the route, stop for nothing, make the drop. My favorite mission. But anyway, my employer had us uh, doing some volunteer work. We were assigned, we did volunteer. It was a little annoying because you had to use your vacation time if you wanted to do the stuff that was required for the volunteer time. I wouldn't even give you that. But it was worth doing. It was a lot of fun. But we, were, we had, um, we organized some robot co uh, competitions, some races, where we'd have a bunch of high school kids, or a great, actually it was seventh grade, I think, seventh grade kids, building robots from kits, and then going through a maze that, you know, one of my colleagues had constructed. We are airborne and in route. But this would involve, we would have the actual competition, we would have, you know, a whole discussion of engineering, the importance of keeping data. Ooh, can we catch it? Almost. And one of my colleagues uh, was addressing the crowd and saying, guys, all the time, man, you know, you guys can do this, and you guys can do that. And we had one person, our, one of our directors who was coordinating this was, I think, originally from out of the area. I forget exactly where it was. Florida? I don't know. But she's whispering as loud as she can. Richie, Richie, don't forget the girls. Don't forget the girls. And, you know, guys is inclusive here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Hey, how you guys doing? As far as in, in my mind, dudes follows the same way. It's not a matter of, you know, it's probably improper. Dude is probably just, you know, supposed to embody machismo and macho-ness. You're a dude. But I think of it more in terms of coolness. I'm a cool dude. And I, I know, I know women are cool dudes. To embody all of that. So if you hear me say it, that's where I'm. Probably bad English. I acknowledge that. But it's a subconscious thing, so. And that's where really that's at. This is probably my favorite mission in the game. You just drive. And even though it's a just driving mission, I mean, it's really your actual actions are not very much different from when you have to drive the insurgent. 
the same, you know, similar gun running kind of thing. Why was that? Why was that 57 Chevy there? Why was that one just parked in the middle of the road in front of you? But this is just somehow seeing all the cars flying. It's just so much more fun. And now we can see, does the helicopter actually pick it up? Or does it just float around and kind of give you this symbolic helicopter game and then pick it up? Symbolic. You don't get to see it picked up. They were delivered. Don't worry about it. They disappeared. Magically. All right, we're getting there. We've almost well, a couple hundred thousand away from you. We'll get the first of the uh, of the RC Benditos. They're at 1.1 million. I'm kind of crossed on the cost of the cost of the RC Bandito because on the one hand, I get it. I get the functionality is really something that's really incredible. But on the other hand, it's a million and a half RC car. Look at that! All deliveries received. Now let's just hope they know how to use them, right? Okay, let's go to phase two of this quick video. Hopefully quick video, because I have other videos that I'm planning on making. But I do want to make some cash over here. Where the heck is my vehicle thing? There we go. Should we help out Kiloda? I'll try to do a dispatch. Dispatch mission. I don't have the time this morning. Other things that have got goals that are going on. We I'm going in completely the wrong direction. Let's go. It's interesting times over here, you know, in the my YouTube land, because on one of my other channels, my shoot a multimedia channel, which is an interesting kind of thing. You know, you gotta check that out. It's a little bit different from what you see here. A lot of kind of, you know, little event videos and you know going places and seeing things kind of videos. It's that, you know, Basically, home movies on steroids with a lot of commentary. But I did a video uh, um, taking a look, you know, of our, you know, of our visit at the R Richard Childress Museum down in uh, Welcome, North Carolina. And up until February, I don't know, tw you know, fig figure out Valentine's Day. It had all of I don't know, 14 hits, which is fine. I mean, it's just you know. My home movies, I can show people what's going on, basically. But I mean, it's, I try to do mostly in that channel. I try to promote local, you know, local events, you know, to Northeast Pennsylvania. But every once in a while, I'll throw something in that's you know, completely different, just to keep it fresh. And no, my my average hits on that are not around 14. This this one just had not taken off with you know my local kind of people here. The because you know just not my normal viewership because it just was not Northeast Pennsylvania, I guess, or whatever. Just, didn't take off, but suddenly I got a lot. I started noticing a lot of comments on the video, and I, I went to check it, and it has almost 17,000 hits. I have no idea where that success came from. I'm thankful for it, but I'm still trying to figure it out. What the heck? It can't be just, you know, Daytona 500 and stuff like that, you know. Can it? I, I don't know. I'm thankful. Check that out. You can head that over there. The Shooter Multimedia channel. I've got three channels. This one, Shooter Multimedia, and my personal Vincent Shooter channel. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how much we're going to have here because I let this run overnight. But it did glitch out at some point. I came back to a, a warning message. Two, okay, I was hoping for more than this, but that's good enough to get us over the million mark. So let's, uh, let's do the sale. The nice thing is, if you keep it... If you keep selling before it's maxed, before everything gets maxed out. Well, how about this? You'll be dealing with an actual person this time. Make the first two drops, then go meet the buyer's people to deliver the last of the goods. And look out for anyone nasty. The buyer thinks they're being tracked. Well, that completely interrupted my train of thought.
But yeah, check out my stuff, man. You might find if you find this stuff interesting. If you like my rambling here, you should see my rambling. When I'm rambling about, excuse me, about other things. That that was kind of funny. If you if you know because the game was interrupting itself, interrupting itself, not itself, itself. But it's early in the morning on Saturday. Still trying to get my my mix all untalked from yesterday. It was a very busy week. Work was quite hectic. I'm a little bit toasted, I think. Just just a little bit tired. We're going to have a nice recovery weekend here, but... If you if you listen very closely there, someone was trying to say you, you, that you dri I drive like shit. The other person just invoked the Lord's name, so instead the game told me I drive like Jesus, which would be an interesting kind of thing, I guess. Imagine you're really good at it. Okay, so here we have the... Okay, that should take care of that for the most part. They're on foot. Must you invoke the Lord? Are those things... Are, are, is the game praying? Really? Okay, that one. Just driving along, singing a song. The last couple times I've done this mission, I have screwed them up on the end. Actually, once it got completely screwed up for me. Put the weapon now. I've got a 50 caliber turret. I guess either way will work. I've already stopped to make the turn to follow the whole go through the tunnel thing. You don't have to be that much of a slave to the GPS, but... Okay, let's go this way, and nice. And I said before, I'm not overly concerned about blowing up the NPCs, because I'm convinced that they're all programmed just to crash into me anyway. I have no sympathy for that kind of thing. And if you blow up the cars in traffic, it puts up enough of an obstacle for the other NPCs, the ones that are chasing you, that it slows them down and can get away. So either way, it works. The only problem with throwing a bunch of mines down is if nobody runs over them, then they're still there. And I've actually blown myself up. And blown other people up, and been blown up by other people's mines. There we go. But they are terribly effective. There we go. So now we're into the final phase. We're two or three. We get that means we will get probably two thirds, roughly at least half the money. This is where it always goes wrong. There we go. We've gotten the driver, so they won't blow up next to us. We are going to blow them up over there just so that they don't blow up next to us. And I'm almost tempted just to let them burn out first. You know, set me on fire. What happened to her? Oh, they, they, they ran her over. Whoa, more of them? 
Okay, this usually goes wrong here. I can't back up. Because there's a mine. See, that's where they, they, it goes wrong. When you're on this upswing, and they, if they can close on you and put enough bullets into you, Then they can kill you, you know. And then I, I threw a mine down in that other car. I mean, nothing to do with anything. Just rams into me and holds me in place, so they can shoot at me. That's just, you know. How many of these guys are we gonna have to do here? Okay. Let's see if they hit that. They must have gone the other way around this way. Now there's, there's one loose mine back there. I don't know. I'm on the downhill though, so now it's gonna be harder to, to pin me. We've gotten over the top of the mountain. You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> Use the explosion from one to take out the other. Set the grass on fire. A lot of trucks here. I'm just at this point. I'm ready just to blast. It. Oh, look at this. More. Yeah, bring that through the train. I wouldn't go up that way if I were you. Okay, we've blown up at least one of them. There we go. I'm kind of driving with the map, so, you know, I'm trying to see where these guys even just teleport in. Seems like they teleport in awfully close. Okay, let's use the Widowmaker because why not? I'm gonna fuck you up now. You hear me? That's not the Widowmaker. Where are they? Where are the bad guys? Okay, that's one. Let's just do this to be visually interesting. Okay, what's up here? No me jodas. Where the hell are they sh shooting us from? Did we chase them around? What the hell? Okay, let's let's get behind here. Okay, we need to do something here. We, we really need to snack up. Okay, let's let's switch to another weapon. Take cover. Inventory. Snack it up. You motherfucker. And let's get spacey again. I'm a little bit more mobile with this gun. Not as fast a, a, a rate of fire, though. Use explosives. Where do you, do you run away? He's 
coming all the way around again? There we go. Well, we've got nine minutes for them to come back, I guess. Let's use the big gun. We'll... So we got one more car that has to spawn. So what are the two more cars? Okay. That's right, two guys per car. It could be four. They'll fit in there, but... Okay, let's... Can we steal this puppy? No, of course not. You're beeping at me? They don't make these like they used to. Oh my god! Ah! You ran my foot over, I'm taking your car. Don't worry, I'll leave it here. I don't want your car. I've got a couple of these on anyway. It's just... That's what I want to see. The good soul. Quarter mill. In theory, we have enough for a... for an RC Bendito. I'm not just waiting for the congratulatory call here. The celebratory call. Well, the buyer's got the product, and you got the profits. Looks like a successful transaction to me. Hey, well. Why haven't we heard from you? You don't like TPI? We're a reputable firm. We've got work for you. Yeah, that note. Like I said, I just wanted a real quick, quick session here to cash myself out a little bit before, uh, before going on to some other games. Yes, believe it or not, I do play other games. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.